Borussia Dortmund went into the season having won back-to-back -back Bundesliga titles under legendary manager Ottmar Hitzfeld. But no one would have thought that the black and yellows would be the European champions come the end of the season. Ottmar Hitzfeld led Borussia Dortmund to two Bundesliga titles and the UEFA Champions League photo by Neil Simpson, EMPICS. Via Getty Images, Hitzfeld had assembled a formidable lineup at Borussia Dortmund, led by defender Matthias Sammer. The defender won the 1996 Ballon d'Or, becoming the only Dortmund player to ever win the award. Club legends Stefan Reuter, Jürgen Kohler, and Jörg Heinrich joined Sammer in the back four, while new signings Paolo Souza and Paul Lambert slotted in the middle of the park. Dortmund's attack was led by the likes of Andreas Moller, Heinz Riedel and Stefan Chapuisat. While Dortmund had a strong team on paper, it was pretty tame compared to some of the teams they went on to defeat in the Champions League. Dortmund finished second in the Champions League group behind Atletico Madrid to set up a quarter-final tie against French club Auxerre. The black and yellows dispatched them comfortably to progress to the semi-finals, where they would take on Manchester United. The Red Devils were themselves looking to build a team worthy of winning the UEFA Champions League, and led by Sir Alex Ferguson, they were a force to be reckoned with. However, Dortmund secured a 2-0 aggregate win over the English Giants to secure the passage to the Champions League final, where they would face Juventus. The final The Old Lady was a European powerhouse in the late 90s. The squad contained some of Europe's best players including Zinedine Zidane, Didier Deschamps, Alessandro Del Piero and Christian Vieri. Juventus had just beaten Dortmund in the UEFA Cup final four years before, and experts predicted that Der BVB would taste defeat yet again. Juventus started the game on the front foot and dominated right from kickoff. However, at the half-hour mark, Dortmund surprised the old lady to take the lead thanks to Karl Heinz Riedel. After a corner was cleared by Juventus, Paul Lambert crossed the ball back into the box. Riedel reacted before anyone else and gave Dortmund the lead from six yards out. Karl Heinz Riedel scored twice in the Champions League final for Borussia Dortmund. Photo by Oliver Berendt, Alstein Bild. Via Getty Images, five minutes later, Riedel struck again, this time with her header from a corner. Juventus were stunned and Dortmund were on cloud nine. Juventus weren't done yet however. The Italians came close to scoring multiple times before eventually finding the back of the net in the 64th minute. Half-time substitute Alessandro Del Piero cut the deficit in half to give Juventus fans hope. But seven minutes later, 20-year-old Dortmund Academy product Lars Ricken sealed the win with a fine chip, just 20 seconds after coming on from the bench. Juventus could not muster up another comeback and Borussia Dortmund sealed a historic win. It was almost unimaginable that Borussia Dortmund would win the UEFA Champions League. But Hitzfeld's men were unstoppable at Olympia Stadion in Munich. What followed in the next decade was unfortunate and heartbreaking for Borussia Dortmund. But no one can take away this historic and remarkable triumph from the Black and Yellows. That season represented everything the club stands for. It was a fairy tale season with a fairy tale ending. And one can only hope that the famous trophy will return to the Westfalenstadion once again in the future.